Hey, Steven, it's Men's Health. We're here to see your gym and fridge. Men's Health? What a surprise. Come on in. All right, are you ready to work out? Welcome. This is my makeshift home gym. Uh, so when I'm working out at home, which I do frequently, I do a lot of workouts here. My workout can be karate. My workout can be yoga. My workout can be some weight training. How often do you work out? Well, I work out pretty much every day. I consider working out every day. If I don't work out during a day, that's a choice that I made because I'm tired or because I'm really busy with something else. But I regard it as part of my job. How has your training changed over the years? It's always evolving, I would say. My weight training has lightened up. I don't lift nearly as heavy when I was younger. Back in the day, my emphasis was on strength, fitness or stamina, then flexibility. Now that I've gotten older, that's really quite reversed. My emphasis is on flexibility and stamina, and strength comes last. How does yoga fit into your workout? Yoga saved my life, quite literally. After shooting Avatar, I was big, and I looked really strong, and I was strong, and I was as brittle as could be. I really had overextended myself, and I couldn't lift my left arm above my shoulder. A very fine trainer named Jade Alexis said to me, you're coming with me to Bikram tomorrow. I said, what's Bikram? She said, it's a form of yoga. And I went, ah, I don't think so. I'm not a yoga guy. She said, you're coming with me, and I did. I went with her the next morning, five minutes into class, I was cursing at her saying, I'm never coming to this again. I went the next day and I've been doing it for the last 12 years. I mean, for, for my age, I have really, you know, good flexibility. I can go in all kinds of directions, do all kinds of stuff that I could not do 10 years ago. What's your favorite exercise? So, so I'll show you, this is awkward pose. Your feet are about six inches apart, and you want to be up on your toes, something like that. You want a flat back, and you're gonna and you're gonna hang out here. But if you really want to make awkward pose really awkward, you would do it this way. That's a com I call that compound yoga. You know what I mean? This particular move is kind of a bear. In any case, you want to do this. This is for your forearms. You can get real nitty gritty. So <laughs> what has been your most physically demanding role? Colonel Korch is a demanding role, there's no doubt about that, because the Colonel is a very, very physical guy. He leads from the front, and there was all kinds of training involved with that, parkour, archery, weaponry, hand-to-hand -hand combat. We do this series of films, the, the uh, Don't Breathe. The blind man is an incredibly demanding role. It's very, very physical, and of course, I'm doing it without benefit of sight. I trained for that, but I did a lot of yoga blind, which is really hard. <laughs> what was the most challenging part about training for Avatar? The underwater training that we did for Way of Water was extremely demanding. It uh, required focus, it required relaxation. It just, it just flat out hard learning to control your breath, learning to tap into the, into the chambers that we actually have. The parkour training for Avatar was also hard, the movement training, because you know, we're leaping over things that, you know, I'm too old to leap over, for, but I did. Pretty much every day was filled with tasks that are really easy to screw up. What are your fitness goals? Look, the goal of fitness for me is quality of life. When you pass 70, which I just have, you know, you become kind of aware of your own mortality and I'd like to extend uh, the quality of my life for as absolutely as long as possible. And working out is a big part of it. Do you have any meaningful tattoos? I don't. I actually flirted with the idea of getting a tattoo for my 70th birthday. First of all, tattoos for an actor are a bit of a pain in the neck because I've seen actors who have entire sleeves that they have to have covered because they're playing a role like that. Don't want to put myself through it. The only, if I were to put a tattoo on myself, I probably would tattoo the masks of Thespis on my heart. You know, for good or ill, I've been an actor for over 50 years. Do you have any movie memorabilia? This is vintage Ike Clanton. This is the hat that I wore in Tombstone. 
this thing is very valuable. It'll get you at least $4 on eBay. This is interesting here. This is an ad from the New York Times. And it says, Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer, and Stephen Lang are terrific. And I was like, ooh, that's nice. I like that, right? And then the next day, the next day they ran the same ad and it said, Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer are terrific. I always said, oh, that stinks, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, but I'm really glad I got that. <laughs> Let's go check out your fridge. Okay, well, welcome to my kitchen. Let's have a look inside the fridge, shall we? <laughs> there it is. You've got some fantastic little mini cucumbers and they will be turned into a fantastic kind of Asian cucumber salad. What do you always have in your fridge? Well, of course, we've always got eggs in the fridge. I mean, is there anything more staple than, you know, ketchup? Uh, I'll tell you a big staple with me is Frank's Red Hot. I, we almost, we always have some feta because feta can kind of do a lot. You know, you can take a scrambled egg and you can fetaize it. So we sort of have a feta fetish. I've got some beautiful peppers, which I'm not sure if they're a staple or not, but they're, they're really, really good if you can. And we do these in a, in a really hot pan, with a little bit of oil and salt. We've got limes here, which is a staple on Friday night because it goes with my vodka. <laughs> <laughs> which is also part of my health regime. Around here up in the upper Hudson Valley, this is really apple country, and we have some really terrific cider as well. And later on, I use the cider as a basis for a lot of the health shakes. What does your diet mainly consist of? I would say I eat fruit every day. I try and eat a banana every day. I eat a, a good number of apples. If I need a quick snack, I'll take a lick of peanut butter. What would we never see in your fridge? What food would you never see in my fridge? I don't think you'll ever see Miracle Whip. Do you know how to cook? Everyone in this family is a cook. So my wife and my daughters are excellent cooks. I think that I'm a, I'm a good cook. My go-to would probably be a garlic chicken. I like my chili a lot. My chili is well done, well thought of. But if I had to pick one, I do a golden meal, which is essentially a hunter's chicken, a chicken cacciatore which is a golden chicken that I like to serve with, with orzo and chickpeas. So the entire plate is kind of, you know, got a golden hue to it. What foods do you hate? I don't hate any food. I, I must say, I don't have the passionate love for salmon. I know it's sort of a sin to say it, you know, but it's a go-to thing, salmon, and I've eaten my share of it. On the other hand, I absolutely love smoked salmon and lox very much. What is your go-to comfort food? My go-to comfort food would probably be my wife's uh, bolognese. I mean, there's just a, nothing better on the planet. Does your diet change for different roles? Sure, I mean, there's certain things that you're just not gonna do. If I wanted to indulge today, I'd walk down to Stewart's and I'd get a vanilla milkshake because nobody does a better vanilla milkshake than Stewart's. But I ain't doing that right now, and if I'm working on Avatar, I'm certainly not gonna do it. Have you ever received any diet tips from any of your co-stars? The best diet tip I ever got from my co-star, I remember many years ago when I was doing Death of a Salesman on Broadway with the great Dustin Hoffman, Dustin told me to eat as much garlic as possible, that garlic was just the answer, was the key to good health. I took him at his word, and I do eat a tremendous amount of garlic, and I actually do believe that garlic has great, great health effects. What is your go-to smoothie? My pro a basis for my protein shake would be ice cider, which gives a little bit of nice sugar, kale from the garden, maybe an apple, always a banana, uh, always an egg as well. Get that all together and it's really great. It's both sweet and earthy and it, it gives you that, that vitality. All right, time for some rapid fire questions. Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Squat. Favorite song on playlist? Walk of Life. CrossFit, yay or nay? Nay. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Ooh, pull-ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Dumbbells. Run on the treadmill or the great outdoors? Outdoors. Cardio or weights? Weights. Big legs or big arms? Big arms. Biggest compliment, jacked, ripped, cut, or swole? I'd say ripped. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? Babe Ruth. 
be a great workout and then a good lunch. Okay, well, that's kind of a demonstration of some of the workout that I am just about to do. And now it's time for me to say adios.